Welcome to Merch Squad, the show where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber merch. I'm Jacob. I'm Julia. And Julia, it's Pride Month. It is Pride Month. Happy Pride Month, everyone. I hope everyone's having a, a real good ass Pride Month so far. Unless you're watching this in like a month and then it's no longer Pride Month, then uh, I hope you had a good Pride Month. Yeah, you missed out. If you you're really watching it and it's out. after Pride Month, just close this video. Yeah. You're too late. I'm sorry. Or, you know, watch it again next year. Yeah, save it for next year. Yeah, during this month. But, uh, but. What are we doing? Are we doing something Pride Month themed? Oh, we sure are, Julia. What are Thank we doing? Thank you for asking. <laughs> we wanted to do a special charity shirt uh, in honor of Pride Month. So we are uh, we're going to draw something where all the uh, profits we make from yeah. the shirt we will donate to charity, which you can tell them more about right now while I start drawing. Yeah. So all the um, all the profits we make will go to the. Uh, Trevor Project, which is a it's a nonprofit organization uh, that focuses on suicide prevention uh, among the LGBTQ plus community, which is super important. And they're a really great charity. If you haven't checked them out before, you absolutely should. They are extremely helpful and just genuinely a very very good organization. Yeah, it's so. it's such a, a nice and good thing. Yeah, and to I be think, there for people when they need help. Absolutely. And I think the shirt, I don't know, I think it's going to be running for like a month. Yeah, that is important to note as well. Um, this shirt that we make will only be up for the month uh, yeah. doing the charity thing. Then we'll probably put it back up next year and, and do the same thing. And Yeah, or we might little, design uh, a new one or who knows. Who knows what we'll do. Who knows, but this is going to be a limited time shirt. So um, get a limited time shirt, get a limited time draw fee shirt that goes to a good cause. We are keeping none of the money we make. Yeah. From this. Not so, even a little bit of Not it. even a little bit. Not even like a penny. It's but, not even going to be one of those things where we're like, we're going to donate most of it. We're going to keep like five bucks. Go buy a sandwich. No. No. Not even. Not here. Not today. It's weird to say the money we make off of the shirt because, again, we're not going to make anything off of it. Yeah. We just want to do a good thing for a good charity. Or we're going to try. We're going to try our, our dangdest. So we have a couple ideas. I think this will be a, an interesting episode of Merch Squad because we were, we're talking ahead of time about what we were going to do. Mm -hmm. While we were doing that, we had the idea that maybe we should just talk about this on the episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And like actually work it out, you know, here, yeah. here live for you. So we have like a vague idea of what we want to do, but we're going to see me and Jacob just kind of figure things out. Yeah, going through our, our natural process. This will be a little peek as to what we do when I scoot my chair backwards over to Julia's desk uh -huh. and we, we try to like hash out what the Yeah, basically. Should he be should he be doing make. like a big teethy smile? Yeah, big teethy smile. Because he's looking a little team wholesome, which is fine. This is a wholesome shirt. Okay, hold on. Let me redo the whole face. Redo the whole thing. Throw it in the trash. Restart the episode. We're going to get it. Oh, wow. He's got a big mouth. I like it. We're going to get a toothy mouth. Toothy mouth. Happy eyes, can't lose. <laughs> can't lose. I guess this is our mug, which was my portion of this <laughs> this drawing to do. Is there anything else this mug needs uh, before we some get sparkles. on? Well, yeah, obviously some sparkles. Obviously, just throw those in. Who do you think I am? <laughs> it needs to be shiny and wonderful. I've noticed that doing like my my best feelings in the world comics, I add sparkles to like ninety percent. Good of my my output. They add a good level of pizzazz to a thing. It just it makes it feel so shiny and good. It is so shiny and good. Uh, okay, I think this is a good start. Okay, um, yeah. I know we had some ideas. You want to hop on and try start uh, messing around with those? Yeah, and it's basically welcome to the futzing part of the episode. Welcome to the futzing segment. <laughs> so our our plan that we've kind of concocted, yeah, is to do maybe like a rectangular oriented. Oh no, shirt. Sorry, not oh no to the thing you're saying. Oh no <laughs> to the fact that Nathan's settings are very different from mine. Oh yeah, Nathan's settings are always different from anybody's. Yeah, it's uh, Nathan. How dare you work the way that you like on your computer? It's honestly incredibly messed up. Like how how dare? When he gets in here, I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind. How dare you come into your house? <laughs> you're here in your own house doing your own thing, your hurting own no thing. one. I love that this color palette is on on another screen. That's a, another, this, we got a lot of insight. What is that? <laughs> Motherfucker. It's even funnier because <laughs> Nathan, for the sake of Drawfee, everything that would pop up in Photoshop, <laughs> Julia just flung the stylus at herself. Everything that would pop up in Photoshop, he moves to the other monitor so it won't interrupt the drawings. Yeah, so it's like a nice clean screen recording. Yeah, but when you're actually trying to work, yeah, uh, it's it's not quite as helpful. It's frustrating as heck. Yeah, but we know why you're doing it. But quit it. But quit it. 
<laughs> Make it easier for us, not the viewer. Who cares about them? <laughs> Who cares about the viewers? So I'm making this dude blue just so I can see it. I'm going to make it white in a second. Sure. Uh, you can also shrink the mug if you want to fit the orientation better, if you think that would help. I think I will because... So we use um, T Public. We're probably going to use T Public, and they like the the space that they give us to work with is uh, very tall. Um, yeah. So. But I like a nice tall rectangular design on a shirt. Yeah. So it's, it's one of my. I think it, it goes back to my my punk show roots. Yeah. A lot of punk bands like to have black shirts with big like white rectangles with just like shit in them, and uh, I'm all about that look. Okay, so I'm going to shrink this this. Cool dude down. Yeah, shrink that friend down. Yeah. So we're thinking we're going to do a tall rectangular design. Yeah, sorry. Uh, with a lot the, of things uh, happened. With the rainbow uh, kind of in the background marking the, the rectangle. And then we'll have the mug oh sort of God. in the middle doing its good thing, looking like a nice friend. So this is how I'm going to do it. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. No, 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 no. Those are a little small, but that's okay. You, know you can widen them better. up. Yeah, we can. Whee! Boom, look at that. Look at that. Actually, I'm gonna make it a little bit, maybe like that. I think How's that looks that look? pretty good. We're gonna do a little bit of, a little bit of playing around. Obviously, as you can see from my multiple mess ups. Yeah, I like that. Um, when we got in the room, I was like, I'll, I'll draw the mug, and then I'll let you do the design stuff because you're much better at actually using Photoshop than me. And, and then, uh, and then look at us now. And then I've, I've mucked everything up. Look at us now. We all live in hell. Yeah, this is, uh, this is my personal hell, where I'm on an OS I don't normally use. I need a green. What's a nice green? Yeah, get a good green. Get a good green. I don't like a bad green. I don't like neon green. How about this green? Is this a good green? No. No. It's ugly as What hell. about this dark guy over here? This one? Yeah, kind of a foresty mm, green. It's a little too dark. How about this guy? It's kind of a nice green. That once, might work. Once we get rid of that yeah, red let's... to the right, it might look a little bit better. We'll see how this goes. Yeah. We'll stick with it. We'll stick with it for now. Oh, yeah, there it is. I feel like greens are some of the most finicky it's one of the most finicky colors for me. For sure. Like green, if you if you get e even a little bit off, it looks like vomit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can go a little too too yellow or too gross with it. Um, look at this. Look at this friend we have. This is nice so far. I'm this digging this. This is nice. Yeah. So we've got the horizontal colors. We also had discussed making our mug friend. That's kind of cute. Yeah, I'm kind of digging that. I think like once the edges are harder. Yeah. Um, like that a little bit. We can even keep the um, the interior line that separated the like the lip of the mug. Maybe mm -hmm. we could put that back in and see. We could if I didn't. Mess yeah, you that have to up. use black, unfortunately, instead of white to make that show up. Yeah, I, uh, I like the way that I had set it up. Julia, I have had it up to here with your excuses today. Uh, I'm sorry. Look at that. Yeah. This is a professional program. <laughs> We're on national television. <laughs> Oh, I didn't. We're I, on a budget. I don't think I told you about. Did I tell you about my dad saying that? No. My parents called me the other day, and they were they were talking about the the Drawfee live show. Okay. And my dad was like, he was confused about what cursing was allowed because he was like, he was like, there was there was some cursing in the episode, and and you know, I don't know if you're allowed to do that on national television. <laughs> and I'm like, oh. Dad, we're not on national television. He's like, well, people all across the nation were watching it. And, like, <laughs> it's like, he's, I he's guess not, that's true. Yeah, he's not wrong. But this is the internet, baby. No rules, just right. International waters? Is that what I'm It's international it's waters. International waters of media. Everything's legal here. I kind of like that that little line. Yeah, I like the line, I think. Or does it look like angry eyebrows? I don't think it does. Okay. But also I'm um, I'm looking at it real fresh. So and with already like something in my mind, I might have to check it out later and see if how it yeah. looks. Yeah, how's that? I kind of like it without actually maybe better. Yeah, it's kind of looking like a forehead wrinkle or like yeah. some angry. Yeah, it, it does make it look a little smoother and nicer, I think, without. Yeah, uh, simple and clean, as some video games would say. Simple and clean is the way this shirt is making me feel tonight, <laughs> and it's hard to let it go. I'm glad we've landed in this spot. Me too. So the other idea that I had, and let's see if I can do this without messing everything up, which I might. Oh, God. I'm, I'm confused as to where this is headed. Sha -na 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 -na. I also have another potential addition to bring up, but I'll do it later. Okay. After this. Okay. Oh, are you going for like a diamond shape? First of all, it's not lining up. What's what the oh, God. <laughs> hell did I do? What the hell did I do? <laughs> what the hell did I do? What fresh hell did I do? <laughs> uh. Dang it, Julia. <laughs> oh, I gotta, I gotta do with that. Hold on. This is the mumble portion of the episode. <laughs> you never heard me uh, at my desk just talking to myself. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, there we go. 
But the Drawfee fans don't usually get that, uh, the privilege. It's true. Of hearing that. I want to expand this without ruining everything. Does that look? I mean, you know, I'll, I'll clean it up in post to make it an actual diamond. Sure, sure. So you're thinking big diamond, maybe. A big diamond. I don't know if I like that better, though, than like just that. I think I kind of dig the rectangle, to be honest. I do kind of dig the rectangle. I have a, a challenge for you. Okay, hit me. Uh, to see if, if this is something we can make work. I was thinking, what if we oriented it so that at the bottom of the rectangle, we could have it say drawfy mm-hmm. in a sense that it uh, like matches the colors and is attached. So it like comes out oh, of the thing, like I in a block, a block font. Yes, my dude. I feel like that could look kind of cool. Yes, I am on board with this. So I'm gonna freehand this. But yeah, also I don't really know how to make that happen. So I'm trusting that you will. Uh, I can do it, my friend, because we'll there are it. seven letters in Drawfee. There are. Hey. Hey. Look at that. Hey, we did it. It was meant to be. I oh, had to yeah. like very quickly do this, a math. This is exactly what I was thinking, Julia. I. Julia, you know me in my deepest heart. I do. I do. The one that wants letters to look good. <laughs> now I'm using my brain power. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. So we got after once we get this working. So. I'm, I want to get the bottom in here. So A, then it would go into a W. It would, yeah, if you wanted to spell Drawfee. Uh, what if I don't, though? If you want to spell, like, dragon or something, then that would, would be different. Dragon. Dragon. Uh, we recorded an episode yesterday. I don't know if this should stay in the episode, but literally all night last night, I was just going, tweens. Tweens. Yeah, don't let it, don't let it taint. <laughs> it spreads like a virus, Julia. It really does. If you say it. Um... Julia had never seen the Ann Twins uh, Coors Light ad from not a not a big how beer long gal. ago, like ten years ago, maybe more. I don't know because I literally I did not know the commercial you guys were referencing. I mean, I was also not a beer person when that commercial that's came true. out. I was you a were, child. You were a tiny child. Uh, but I did remember seeing it. Anyways, that's not important here and now. <laughs> how do I want to make this e work without it just continuing forever? What if continuing forever continuing forever might actually work though? Yeah, you can always. Fix it later. Well, you also could have used a font for this. I could have, <laughs> but I do like the hand, the hand drawn look. We'll see how it goes with like the final version, because this is a pretty clean design too, I guess. I also just like doing fonts. This one, this is going to be a challenging shirt to figure out like what color shirt to put it on. It probably would have to be white or black, yeah. for the most part. Yeah. I don't think any other color would function. No. Uh, since all colors are present uh, in some form. Yeah. It's awesome. I'm glad that we have like a community that is that, you know, we can do the shirt and know that, you know, people will be super into it. Yeah. In totally. fact, you know, this idea was really originally suggested by Cam. Yeah, Gafey. Gafey. Thank you for uh, the on Twitter. Yeah. Thank you for the um uh, suggestion. Yeah, uh, it, was it was a super good idea. Super good idea. And we uh we wanted to jump on it as quickly as possible. So we have as much of Pride Month to do it in. This is like the very boring part of the show where I'm just like trying to make, figure out how the top of this would work, but. Well, I think people are like interested in the actual process process of making this stuff happen. Yeah, does that, does that look? I mean, it looks a hot mess right now. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> but I have faith. I believe, Julia. Uh, <laughs> hold on, what if? That doesn't make sense. It don't make sense. It don't make sense. 20, 20. And twins. Oh, God. Um, I feel like, as you know, Julia, I was born in Georgia. Yes. Uh, which can be a very conservative place. Okay. Yeah, I was born in New York, which is the opposite. Is not. Yeah, I was very lucky. So I, I had a very conservative upbringing. Okay. Basically, you know, like I thought I was a conservative in like high school, like up until high school. Yeah. Uh, right up until the, per- the, the point where I had friends who were not, and they asked me like, well, why do you feel that way? Yeah. And I was like, I thought about it and I was like, oh shit, I don't know. Oh shit, I, I don't. And know. they were like, do you just think that because your parents think that? And I was like, yeah, that's exactly why I thought that. I yeah. just thought my parents were infallible. We all have that. And so I, I had like my first moment in high school, like junior year of being like, could my parents be wrong? <laughs> uh, as it turns out, yes, they can and they yeah. do frequently. They absolutely can be very, uh, you know, your, your parents are people, uh, they can be wrong. I, I got very lucky in that my parents are very just like, as long as you're a good person, we really don't care. Yeah. Um, which is very cool. Because my father is from a very conservative family. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's from a very, well, n- 
No, my grandma, I guess, is is pretty progressive considering you know the time that she grew up in. But you know, my my dad certainly wasn't raised in a very like open minded household. Sure. Um, but you know that's a little bit why he came to America was like, or, or New York specifically it was just so that you know it it kind of fit his thoughts a little bit better. Yeah, makes sense. So that this looks like a flipping mess. It's getting there. I can see it coming in now. Yeah, it's like. There's a few things I have to, to figure out. If you want me to tag in and futz at any point too, I, I'm happy to. If you if you see, because I'm, you know, I'm in my own little headspace, so if you see something. Say something. If you, yeah, this W is. The W is mess. gonna need some work. But yeah, to uh, to finish out my, yeah, sorry. my little story here, which is not much of a story, but it is something. It is something. So I, I feel like I went from being in a very conservative household and surrounded by conservatives everywhere yeah. to you know, going to college, which is obviously usually the opposite in many ways. Yeah. Uh, mine was about half and half, probably. Okay. Um, to then moving to Atlanta, which is one of the gayest cities really? in America That's uh, phenomenal. at this juncture. Um, and it's it's been so, like, fun to have all of those transitions. That is cool. You kind of do see, like, all of the, the angles of things. Um, yeah, some angles I'd rather not see. Yeah, 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 yeah. I went to FIT, which had a uh, Miss FIT contests, which were drag competitions. Oh, that's awesome. And I went to like a private Catholic school in high school, and then I went from that to the drag contests. Yeah. <laughs> and it was the coolest thing. Like, I was so happy. Yeah. I was. It, it, there is kind of a moment where you you kind of uh your your eyes are opened a bit to like other ways of being that you were unaware of. Yeah, you're like, oh, people can just like be themselves and enjoy yeah. you know, being them. Ideally, that is the conclusion you come to. Yeah. Which is is how I felt. But then some people see that and they're like, I don't want these people to feel <laughs> happiness differently than me. How, how dare you do something that has literally no effect on my personal life? I kind of like this letter idea you had. I'm I'm liking it actually a yeah. lot. Um, we might need to move the mug up a bit to center it in the new rectangle. Okay. Yeah. I'm um, I'm there. Yeah. 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 We're there. We're there. I think we're there. I'll yeah. I mean, we'll letters we'll post. make the letters look better, obviously. Yeah. But I'm I'm really digging this design actually. Yeah. I'm into it. Can we bring the mug down like a smidge more? I'm I'm bringing them down a smidge more. You know yeah. I'm just to do, that's actually probably that. probably enough. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There okay. he is. Um, so this is, you know, side side message from, I, I know, usually when we speak, we like to speak for ourselves, but I know that I can say as a whole on the channel that um, we are really happy that we have such a an awesome community and that people are comfortable on our channel enough to be them. Yeah, totally. You know? And I feel like I've seen, like, people you know, have their own, like, ideology shifted as a result of interacting with, like, our fan base and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Like, people, you know, becoming more understanding. And All there have been, like, do. people I've seen that have been, like, kind of, you know, a little bit shifty in, like, yeah. comments and stuff, and then they come around. Like, absolutely. I see the same person a month later, and they're, like, way yeah. ratter. Yeah, absolutely. And it's just, like, usually, you know, a lot of times, or some of the times when I see people who feel uncomfortable with something new, and it's it's just because it is new. You know, or they grew up, like you said, Georgia conservative, not really any um, exposure to anyone who is like different. Yeah. yeah. You know, so just, you know, I'm, I'm glad that our community has been a platform for people to be themselves um, and to change their mindsets a little bit. Um, so this is, um, you know, we're hoping to do some good with the shirt. Um, and it's also to show that, you know, we are 100 percent with you. Yeah, you totally. Know. Thank you guys for being so rad. And uh, make sure to, to pick up the shirt. Again, it's only going to be up for a limited amount of time. And again, all of the profits will go to the Trevor Project. Yeah, I'll uh, be getting one. Yeah, I'll be getting one right off the bat. So um, we're hoping to get this up, this video up, like very soon because we're already a little bit into the month. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah. And uh, not sorry. No, not sorry for this one. Yeah, like a, a real official not sorry. Yeah. Hi, Nathan. Hi. Welcome. Thank Welcome you. Welcome back to Merch Squad. I'm excited to be here. I don't. We don't really need your approval on this one. <laughs> oh. I, but I want it in my heart. I need it. All right. I need it for my own validation. So this is one we're gonna sell it. We're gonna make lots of money for ourselves with this one. Uh, this is you know, in incorrect. You know, <laughs> uh, this one's actually all going to charity. What? To the Trevor Project. Oh, so that's great. Is, so we we've come up with a design. 
I hope you enjoy. I need the validation yeah. for my heart and soul from Nathan. Here it is. Whoa! Look at the happy Whoa! Guy. Here's our beautiful pride shirt. That's and, great. And we got the original idea from Rainbow Mug that you drew for an episode. I for the live stream, yeah. For the, for the Twitch stream, yeah. Oh. You, was, you drew the rainbow mug because it was uh, it was the first day of the month, yeah. that Friday. Oh, and I, then was, Cam I was doing posted work. it on Twitter, yeah, and said and said she wanted a, a shirt, a Droppy Pride shirt. She's influential. She's she a, she's an influencer. Yeah, she, yeah, she is a power player. And now here we are, and well, we got it, baby. Can I just say, I'm proud of you guys. Oh, thanks, dude. Yes, that's what I needed to start off my day. Yeah. So again, get this shirt for the next like month. Yeah, next, the link like, will month. be right below this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Go uh, down and click it and buy this thing. Do it. Thank, thank you. Thank you. We're still not sorry. Okay. Still not sorry. Yeah, don't be sorry for this one. Bye. Bye.